Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play Poorly series. This is X4 Foundations, the 7.0, well, 7.00 public beta. Uh, this is beta 2. I've gone ahead and ended my other uh, runs, the regular uh, Vanilla Plus and the Star Wars Innerworlds, because I could not wait to get into this. A lot has been updated, a lot has changed. It is uh, really, really beautiful now. Uh, the best X4 has ever looked. So here we are in the settings. I've gone ahead and dropped myself down to 1440. And the reason for that is um, I was using 4K before because the settings I had allowed me to stay at least 30 FPS. Well, if I stay at 4K and then turn on all of the fancy stuff, I drop below 30 FPS. But the fancy stuff is now so freaking fancy that I absolutely can't live without it now. It's just, it's so, so good. So I'm just very, very happy. Anyway, so we're now sticking around right now in the intro screen. Looks like we're about 45 FPS. So we'll probably be able to stay at around a good 30 minimum uh, for most things. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and start a new save. And I think what I'm going to do is just use the regular young gun save. I know it's bland and boring, but it's the one I like to go to. Because uh, it allows me the most freedom up front. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so a couple things to note first up. Um, I'm running completely unmodded. Which will probably change over time. I might add a few things in slowly, slowly just to see what works. But right now, it's completely unmodded, which does mean one thing that I cannot stand about the game in in its vanilla mode uh, is going to be bugging the hell out of me, which is that I cannot really use... Uh, where is it? Is it this one? No, it's in here. No, it's not there. It's here. So this gamepad mode option, if you have it set to for all controllers or joysticks or only with controllers, depending on what your setup is, it will hide the mouse cursor whenever you're using your device. However, there's a bug, and it, there's been a bug in this since version 1.0, where if you have this turned on, and you're working with your stick or your gamepad, and then you move to the mouse, and if you're in the cockpit, if you touch the mouse at all, the cockpit, you'll start to rotate, you'll drift, uh, just in the direction of the mouse movement. Just very, very subtle, and only for a moment until you move the mouse again, like you move it in another direction. But it happens every single time, and it's a bug that's been happening since 1.0, so I can't really use this mode. Uh, same thing happens on the map. If you are in the map and you switch to the mouse, it immediately starts drifting the map. Hopefully they will fix that. I did submit a bug report about that. Uh, but right now, we have gamepad mode off, which means that the mouse cursor does not disappear, which is why I had been using... Where is that? Up here. I had been using QWERTY's, um, oh goodness, where is it? Reset Mouse. The UI Reset Mouse uh, mod. Oops. However, in order to use that, you need to use UI Extensions and HUD, which also requires mod support APIs. But I have a feeling that this is causing problems with the main menu in the game, uh, at, the, at the main screen. It, when I had my mods turned on, I couldn't actually see the main screen menus they were just not there so i'm wondering if maybe that's causing it or something like that anyway we'll we'll be testing that down the road but for right now we're going to stick with this and i'm just going to live with the uh, first world problem of having the mouse stay on the screen when i'm using my joystick all right the other great thing about this uh is that oh let's uh let's change our naked man it still has the uh, the logos from uh, a download that i did which means it also still has the slightly not safe for work ones, which uh, we're just going to pretend aren't there. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's do... Oh, let's do these guys. Yeah. All right. That looks good. All right. So, uh, yeah. The, uh, okay, what was I talking about? I had to pause to deal with a work email. Uh, graphic settings. Uh, I love how this whole first episode is really just going to be a whole lot of geekery, but that's okay. They've added TAA, Temporal Anti-Aliasing, which is fantastic. They had to update their uh, graphics engine to do that because their previous engine didn't have the ability 
to give the information that TAA algorithm needed, but now they did. The great thing about TAA is it's not really any better than any of the others. It's not like it looks better necessarily. What the advantage is, is that it's a much, much lower overhead in terms of processing because of the way it works. So that's really, really nice, which means that the frame rates stay a little bit higher than they normally would otherwise. It's still obviously is going to tank your frame rates when uh, in comparison to not having any anti-aliasing on, but uh, not nearly as bad. Uh, they've also, as you can see here, added UI Glow, which is going to be for me it's a it's a game changer i don't know that's i don't know how else to say it because i've always felt that the the ui especially in the cockpit uh which is supposed to kind of be a holographic projection onto the cockpit glass or or whatever looked like a game it always looked too gamey and I didn't like it and so i actually was using one of those mods that removes all of the brackets and things like that because it just didn't look right to me. I prefer the look of things like in Elite Dangerous, where it definitely really feels like it is something that's being projected onto a surface, and therefore you have this backsplash glow and, and so on. Well, now they've put it in, and it looks amazing, and uh, I I love it. So uh, we need to Elite get in our ship Vanguard. here. Okay. And I don't need the messages. So obviously I don't have any of the mods running. Oh, and there's my mouse again moving. Don't have any mods, so I don't have the one that hides the brackets, but I don't really want that anymore. Because look at that. It looks so good. It glows. Brilliant. The other thing they've done is they've improved the lighting. Uh, I don't really know what they've done exactly, but that whatever they've done... It just looks incredible now. And it may also, it may simply be updates to the way they've set up their settings for things like uh, shadows. I am now able to do ultra. Maybe I wasn't able to do that before. I can't remember. Uh, obviously, soft shadows are turned on. But the effect, whatever has changed, whatever I've become, whatever I've been able to do now, it, it just looks. So glorious. My biggest critique of X4 has always been that the visuals just weren't quite on a par with games like Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen or even Helium Rain. And that's kind of no longer the case. This just looks incredible. There's still a little bit too much ambient light. Uh... It, I feel like it could be a little darker, and there could be more uh, source lighting. But I also kind of understand why it is like this. Ooh, let's go kill this guy. Let's start out our day with murder. I have a feeling that part of the reason they can't really do that is because these stations don't have a consistent shape. And because of that, you kind of actually need to see the whole thing pretty clearly in order to know where you are navigating to like be able to dock again go back in through here for example if they used only source lighting lights emanating from the surfaces of things and not nearly as much uh ambient it just we would probably be uh, uh, a hazard to uh, a hazard to flight but as you can see right now so we've got the sun here so realistically this part should be Thanks for your help. should be well lit. But back here most of this stuff over here on, on this side of it should be much, much darker. Now, yes, of course, there is a little bit of a glow reflection from the planet. A little bit of, you know, scatter back from, from the light reflecting off of the atmosphere and the surface and so on. But I don't think it would be quite that much. So anyway, enough about that. Let's uh, let's go see what we're gonna do. Uh, lockbox. I knew I could count on you. Got to scan a station. I knew I could count on you. Well, that's a that's a long way away. Let's do let's just do this one. Oh yes, I forgot that I don't have the 
I don't have the thing anymore. I don't have any of my mods. All right. Let's head out here. There have been a few other subtle changes. Like you can see, for example, that once I'm in travel drive, now the actual uh, panels light up differently. You can see on the bottom left, the message panel is glowing gold. Instead of the blue that it would have stayed, would have normally just continued to be in the different modes. It never changed before. Now it does. And look at that. It's just, ah, I can't get over how good this looks. I could just do this all day. Whee! Uh, oh, that's right. There's a disco. Oh, uh, what's the disco ball? Is it? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Stop that. What is it? One, two, three, four? Yes, there it is. Nice little Easter egg. If you hit shift one, two, three, four, or basically activate all the modes in succession, you get this. Ah, stupid mouse cursor. Okay, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> Whoops. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're not doing that. Hang on, hang on. There we go. I, I, I probably could have spent the next 20 minutes just, uh, just doing that. Oh, we're too... Yeah, we need to... There it is. Okay, there they are. Let's go get them. Oh, that's right. I gotta open these freaking lockboxes by hand now. Oh, that's unfair. No. Alright, I'm gonna save the game so something, something goes wrong, I don't die. Okay, well, let's see if we can do a bonk. Hopefully that the physics engine still works that way. Can we do a bonk? Um, yes? Did that work? Uh, maybe a little bit. Let's try again. Oh, it does not seem to be working the way it used to. Oh, no, it's just scraping my paint. The physics engine no longer seems to allow me to adjust the trajectory of the thing. Oh no, wait a minute. No, I did. I did a little bit. Okay. Come on. Come on. Mm. Stop. Oh, that's better. Is it? No, it's not better. Am I just making this worse for myself? Alright, fine. 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 Okay. Alright. Oh boy. Well, that... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This might be, this might be good. This might be good. Alright, come on now. Yes! Oh, and the sound! Oh! They now have the beep! Forgot about that. You know what this calls for? More disco. trajectory. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe this way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Slow it down. Slow it down. No. No way. Fine, fine. We'll just do... Oh, God. Oh. There it is.
I've also submitted a bug report. Uh, there's another thing that's going on uh, that actually, again, has been going on uh, for a really long time where if you set, oh no, it's here. Is it here? Yes. If you set your invert controller to emulated mouse cursor inverted, which is how it makes the most sense for me anyway, because I have a, I have a little mini stick uh, on my joystick and I can do this now with that mini stick and I don't have to touch the mouse at all. But if you have it not inverted, then it kind of reverses the, the direction of the vertical. The problem is that it doesn't hold between saves or between uh, sessions. Even if you save the profile, I don't think that information is included in the profile. It isn't included in the save and it isn't included in the default settings for the game. So as a result, you have to set it every single time, uh, every time you run the program, run the game, which again, is another one of those first world problems, but I keep forgetting to do it. And so that's uh, kind of annoying. I'm pretty sure they have done a little bit of optimiza optimization of the engine, at least the graphics. They, they must have, because I am running on Ultra, even at 1440 instead of, and not 4K. Like, I, I am surprised that I'm getting nearly 60 FPS. That is just... That's just wild. This close to a station? I mean, really? That never happens. Docking rent. Oh, right. I don't have my docking computer. Okay, come on. Uh, uh. Successfully docked. All right, you know what I? Oh, I don't have the money yet. Never mind. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my docking computer first up. Okay. Now, if you don't like the glow on the UI, there is an option uh, to change the the value. Um, you can turn the UI glow quality off and then it just won't glow at all, uh, which some people might like that. I don't want that because again, it, it makes the uh, cockpit interface look a little too gamey, so. Oh God, oh, thank God you're not in the bathroom. I was a little nervous there. I was worried that I was gonna find you on the can. Great work. All right, now we got some money. Elite Vanguard. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. That's not what I want. Uh, I want this. I'm trying. I'm trying to get into the habit of using my stick for all these U UI controls, uh, and not use the mouse. I'm. I'm slowly getting used to it. It, it takes. It's taking a little bit of uh, muscle memory practice, but that's alright. Thirty-four. Don't have enough for the extra long-range scanner. Okay. Oh, the freaking mouse cursor. This is going to piss me off. Okay. We've got a mission, right? We've got this. Oh, let me try. Let me see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Joystick, mini stick. Okay. That one's taking me really far away. Well, not that far. 
Oh, that my reverser isn't working. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Nothing else available. All right, so I guess we we are going over there. All right, we're nearly there. I have gone ahead and added, uh, I, I grabbed another mission, uh, attrition warfare mission to kill us, uh, 10 scale plate packed ships, which is uh, good. Oh, well, the other thing uh, we can look at is uh, the new over the shoulder look, the third person look. Autopilot disengaged. Let me uh, slow myself down here. So the uh, mouse cursor. They've updated it to be very much like the mod that I had, but also now you can see field levels and hull levels, which you couldn't before. They've brought, they've kept that interface element. So this is very cool. It, like I said, with the mod that I had installed in the previous run, it changes the way you can play the game. I mean, you can play this as more of an arcade shooter if you want, in this kind of mode. Like, sort of like uh, Everspace or something like that. And they've done a really good job of emulating that kind of look. Whereas before, it was always in the center, and it was designed really to be just a rear view rather than a way to actually operate your ship. So this is very nice. And you can see the uh, field of view actually changes, or rather, I should say the, the oh, oh, that's alliance of the word, yeah. The um, oh, Numancore, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Previously, you could you could actually not you wouldn't see the perspective shift on things that are out there when you cockpit versus rear view, but now they do because they it's moved the camera angle just enough to suit it better, which again is a, a really great improvement. Okay, so now we gotta scan the station. Oh, and then the, uh, yeah, before we do that, let's. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, mark that as red. Oh, wait, we need to take that mission, don't we? Take that one and the Hatikva one. And then let's get ourselves back to that active. Okay. I, Numancorette, welcome you in my capacity as commanding officer of this expedition. Of the word is a collective of scholars and scientists intent on advancing understanding through cooperation. They've also updated the scan colors for scanning stations. deal with this guy. Go now. 
My captors will soon return, and there is so much more to prepare. Yay, Bozo. Okay. What do we got? Station managers. Ooh, they want... What do they want? Oh, they want someone with two levels of management. Oh, and they only want ma one manager, though. I mean, I could maybe find that. Yeah, let's take it. I knew I could count on you. That's probably not the mission we're going to do right now, though. We'll start simple. Now we got to find our way to Hatikva's Choice, which is going to be... Think up along here, right? God, how how is it that after over a thousand hours of playing this game, I don't have the mem the map memorized? Yeah, let me look at this. It looks so much better now with the glow. They, I mean, it looks right. It doesn't look like I'm playing a game, which is the thing that I'm really. That's one of the things that I really like about space com cockpit sims and stuff, is that I, I like the immersiveness of them, or I like it when they are immersive, and the more immersive, the better. I love things like Universal Combat, uh, Elite Dangerous, I'm loving it now, because I am, have mostly passed the, the struggle portions. Um, Evercron Legacy, and so on. All of those games that have this philosophy of you are actually there in your cockpit. That's, uh, that's the good stuff. That is the good stuff. Wait. Hang on. I am going through there. That's what I thought. Why is that not uh, glowing up? Okay, well, we're going to go there directly. We're not going to use the ribbon. Alright, so, because this is a public beta, uh, or I should say because it's a beta more than anything else, things may break, I may have to restart, I may have to adjust things, have or have to choice. reload old saves, or, or so on. So, we can't necessarily expect this run to be smooth, and I'm pretty sure that what I'll be doing is either slowly adding mods over time, or if I don't add any mods, once the public beta is over, I'm definitely going back to fully modded. Maybe not all the same mods, but still fully modded. Which means that this is going to be a relatively limited series. Uh, there's no... It's not unending. It's not going to have an open-ended uh, back end of it. It's definitely going to be finished when the public beta is finished. Which, for EgoSoft betas, tends to be a couple of months. With an update this big, probably going to be... Uh, Wow. Probably going to be a, a longer than the norm. Uh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Color coordinated box. Oh, it's so good. Look at you, you beautiful interface. Okay. Where are we going? I'm going to go talk to Reen Amara. Docking granted. Successfully docked. Can I do this without my mouse? Maybe. Oh, my 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 turning speed is not that high. That's okay. Oh gosh. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Uh. All right, no, gonna have to use the mouse. Okay. Well, we're coming up on our thirty-minute mark. So before I talk to her, before I go in there and start this whole thing. Gonna end the episode when we come back, start the Hatikva Revolution mission, and then maybe go start the uh, recovery of the Boron missions. I'm so excited. This is really 6.0 was a massive update. 7.0 is looking to be another massive update. This is the game 
I love more than any other, and I'm loving it even double now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.